How you doing, King? Good. <laughs> Are you the waitress? I am the waitress. Okay. But not the waitress. Okay. Who's so taking you're... the order? Tana's taking the order. You only give orders. I am Fiona O'Brien, and I am from Ocean City, Maryland. I am the director and choreographer of Hurricane Six. Hurricane Six came about. Uh, because I knew I wanted to do a film, a dance film, in Ocean City, about Ocean City, um, specifically the environment. I feel a lot of personal attachment to Hurricane Six, being that I am from Ocean City, I am a direct descendant of a prominent uh, female entrepreneur, um, and it feels very, very close to my heart. I got involved with SIE uh, when they approached me to score and edit audio for uh, Terra, their first uh, cinematic movie. Cinematic dance film. I got involved uh, with this project through uh, BL. Uh, I knew him through the film festival and he and I were actually working on another short film project back in October when he, at the end of it, he mentioned to me that there might be another project from this dance collective. I became involved with the project because I had met the Saltar and Elementus team through their film Terra. Uh, we were fortunate to program it into the Ocean City Film Festival. Uh, Fiona told me she wanted to uh, make this other movie and I told her I was really interested in whatever the concept was, I wanted to help out and uh, then I somehow ended up being the director of photography and editor. I wanted to do something about, you know, what is the culture and society like in Ocean City? How would you explain this to someone else? I think Ocean City is a very strange and complicated place. Uh, I don't really know how else to explain it. Ocean City is like three hours, two and a half hours away from any airport, like major airport. It's in a way pretty isolated. And then on top of that, they're by the a huge body of water like so it's like everything to the east it's just it's nothing until Portugal and it's just so weird to me that there's this weird little community and culture and people order Natty Light at the bar um, it's such a quirky little place but it has such a rich history I thought of one event that kind of represents everything and it's the storm of 1933 that kind of brought sport fishing um, tourism and industry to Ocean City and kind of brought a booming economy to the area. I think Ocean City is a very unique and interesting place, especially growing up there. There's a lot of um, intergenerational businesses. Every location that we filmed out was really fun, but I think my favorite part was filming at Bull on the Beach. Davis, sorry, AC. Oh God. Oh God, indeed. This is Will, he's our still photographer. He's been doing a wonderful job this weekend. Thanks, man. I used to work there, and it was, I felt super comfortable in the space, and it was fun transforming the space for film and for choreography and dancing. We got a hot spot on the, um, the lattice here, whatever the hell you call it. What if you aim it upwards towards this corner so it bounces off the white? Okay. Fills the room more? Yeah, let's get another one over here and get this beautiful sitcom lighting. This is my first job. When I worked here, I worked here. Yeah, first. This first. I think it's this and then Yeah, I like that. Let me walk around and see how this. Two, three, four, five, six. Oh, So it is. This is first. This is first. Uh, my favorite memory was day one of filming on Acetate, because the whole cast was there, but not everyone was um, was being filmed that day. So like it was like half a little beach day, half a little filming day. It was very cute. It was fun. It was it was a good way to start the shoot. Feel really good. Why? It's a beautiful day here on our national seashore. Yeah, it is. Yeah. <laughs> Some nice great pelicans around. 
Um, I did a lot of field recording on acetique. I got the ocean, so the ocean that you hear in the film is from acetique, it's not just stock uh, audio. Um, and you'll hear that both sections are a little bit disjointed from each other, but so are the landscapes. So I really wanted to capture both of these things by themselves separately. Being like, uh, acetique section, the opening part one is more ethereal, um, ambient, very, it's light, but you also have this storm build-up section, but it's supposed to be more sacred, if you will. Um, it's supposed to resonate with the, with like, the soul of acetique, if I, I was imagining. And now the Ocean City section is more commercial. Um, it's got a surf rock beat, 12-bar blues, um, structure, um, it's fun, it's colorful, yeah. Um, my favorite memory from the set was the fact that we were running three cameras, to be honest. That was so nice. It was so nice to have uh, me and BL and Sammy um, run three cameras simultaneously because, one, it kind of took the cameras out of the equation. It felt like we were able to just let the dancers do their thing. Um, and also, just for convenience sake, we took maybe you know a few takes per per set with us just, you know, switching up the cameras and we had all the coverage we needed. My, my favorite setup in the whole movie, um, just to give you a breakdown of the technical side, is uh, the hallway shot after, after that little slideshow of Ocean City scenery. You see Daria, she's dancing down a hallway and she leads the two tourists into the room. So that was super fun. Uh, and to give you an insight onto, onto the setup, so we start around this corner. Behind the camera is Sammy holding an LED panel, like really high up to make sure Daria is keyed in. Uh, in the door, immediately on the left, in the beginning of the shot, you, you might be able to see the door is open, and inside of that door, which you can't see, is Davis stationed with another light panel, holding the door open so the light beams in. So Daria dances down the hallway, followed by the tourists, and they're like, they're keyed in, they're illuminated, and you can see behind Dar Daria how exactly dark the entire hallway is, so we did that out of necessity. And of course, once they go into the room, the room is super bright, so we needed to really fight that contrast between light and dark, otherwise I was gonna have to shift exposure on the camera, and, you know, it wouldn't have looked as good. Come see it. It's fun. I, it was a fun part, project to be a part of. I'm hoping more films like this happen in Ocean City. Um, I'm really excited for what's to come for SIE and film and just film in general in uh, Ocean City. Film is an art form. The film scene around here is, is small, but there's stuff going on. We're making, um, you know, short narrative pieces uh, here and there. And uh, but something like this is something that I don't think we've ever done before uh, in the area. And I think it's really cool to bring it to Ocean City. And I, and I credit Fiona for having that vision um, and the whole dance team, of course, as well. Um, I hope people find that it's fun and they enjoy, you know, the feminine nature behind the women entrepreneurs that um, have historically run Ocean City. Being a part of Hurricane Six was a really special experience for me because I got to perform as a dancer after a really, really long time and I got to visit a new place and work with some really wonderful people that I really hope to cross paths with again in the future. I hope people take away that no matter where you're from, that you are a product of your own environment, whether the um, environment be changed or altered by natural causes or by human and man-made causes. People just need to know that this kind of content can be made here and uh... I'm not saying it's necessarily easy to make this kind of film because a lot of uh, a lot of discipline went into it, but you know all the resources are here if you really want to apply yourself and make a really interesting film. Cool. Is there any any additional thing you'd like to say? Come see it. <laughs>